Hello, this is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I'm really excited today for two reasons. Is the weather has turned beautiful down here in Florida. It's above 60 degrees. The clouds are gone. We've had cloudy skies and rain for a week. And it's just really nice outside. The other reason is this week I got from Banggood this Blitzwolf 20 watt solar charger and I'm going to try to show you this charger today now I live close to a small airport and since it's a nice day there are probably going to be planes going overhead everybody's enjoying the day the other thing that this comes with it comes with four of these carabiner carabiner carabina hooks so that you can hang it up and I'll show you how to do that. Let's get those out of the way. And it comes with this USB full size to micro USB cable. Okay, let's open her up. Nice carrying pouch, Velcroed. And then we have three solar panels. And then here's where you hook those clips. If you want to hang this up, for instance, you could hang it up like that, or you could hang it up like this. And then it also has this pouch right here where the two USB ports are, so you can actually charge two things at once. And then you can actually, if you've got a small cell phone, you can put it down in there and keep the sun off of it. Okay. So what I'm going to do to kind of check this out is I'm going to use my USB test device with uh, my two USB loads. Here's one and there's the other one. And then here is another USB tester that I'm going to use. So first I'm going to hook up both of these USB testers to these two ports and verify that I have power coming out of them. And it's, I'm going to be struggling a little bit because of the bright sun makes it hard to read these. So I'm going to have to shade them. So right now I have no load and on this side I'm getting 5.2 volts and on this tester I'm getting 5.15 volts no load okay I'm gonna stick a load on here this load here which is variable so I can adjust it the fan has come on this one the fan runs all the time as long as you have enough voltage and let's see what we're drawing here we are at 5 volts and we're drawing 0.9 amps so I can adjust this unfortunately I can't read it and adjust it at the same time okay now we're getting approximately 1.4 amps at 5 volts so this side is giving me 1.5 amps at 5 volts with not, no load on the other side except the tester itself. Now, let's see what this load does. Okay, it is, let me see, it has, by putting that second load on there, the voltage has dropped down to 4.5 volts, and this one is drawing 0.6 amps. See what the other one is reading now. This one is reading 3.4 volts at 1.25 amps. So let's, um, this one is pretty easy to change the load. So let's decrease the load here. I hope I'm going in the right direction. And we're up to 4.3 volts at 0.9 amps. Go down a little more. Okay, now we got 5 volts at 0.75 amps. And on this one, we have 4.9 volts at 0.65. So 
So it looks like with the solar panels, one of the things they have at this little airport is they have helicopter flying lessons. And so the helicopter is going round and around and around. So you're gonna hear that quite often. Okay, so to the total we got about 1.5 amps with the solar panels sitting in this configuration. The sun is approximately at that direction. So it's coming down at an angle on these panels. And probably this bottom panel is, a, right now it's about the right angle. So let me see if I can prop up the top one. There, so now we got two of the three solar panels pointing in the right direction. And let's see what we can get now. I'll use this one to adjust it. And let's see if I can read it. I uh, went too far. Okay, there we got about 5 volts at 7.5 amps on that load. In the other load, we have 3.5 volts at 6.5. So it's again, it's still about 1.5 amps total. We have two panels kind of facing in the right direction. Now, got to keep in mind, this is a winter, and so the sun is low on the horizon. So we're not getting that direct overhead sunlight. So it's probably not ideal conditions for these solar panels. So that's probably why I'm only getting 1.5 amps instead of the 3 amps advertised. So that's basically what it is. Pretty easy to use and set up. Um, 1.5 amps if you're charging like a radio should be more than adequate to charge it in a few hours. And so this, this works out pretty good. Um, very convenient in that it folds up, has this little pocket. Let me unplug these now. And it does give you two out, outputs, but the total capacity is shared between those two outputs. And then we can close it up. Oops, wrong way. And there we go. Nice packet. You can store these things in this little pouch right here, which is what I'm going to do. Put them back in there. And there we go. You're ready to go. So there you are, the Blitzwolf 20-watt solar charger. And this was sent to me by Banggood. Thank you very much. Bye.